We're here this afternoon with my wife, Kathy Bakke. And what are you wearing today, Kathy? Uh, um, I'm wearing my Australopithecus boesii shirt from Old Uvai Gorge. This particular critter was discovered by Mary Leakey in around 1962. And that's in Tanzania? Yes, and that's where I got the shirt. But the reason we're here is to do the physics of spoons. All the optics of mirrors can be found in the spoon. You have the front side, which is concave. It's kind of like you can go into the cave. And the back side is convex. So it turns out if you hold the spoon at a distance. Your arms are longer than mine. They are. But the spoon is at the same place. Um, you will notice that the image that forms will be a tiny version of you. It's going to be a real image because the light actually comes from that point. Um, and it's inverted, which means it's upside down. Is that what you see in your spoon, Kathy? Yes, it is. Now, as we come in from infinity, from far away, the image becomes larger and larger, still inverted. When I am between one and two focal lengths from the spoon, the image will be bigger than life size. And when I get inside the focal length, oh God, that's ugly. Uh, what I see is a piece of my eyebrow right side up. This will be a virtual image. You can never put a piece of paper there and find the image. Now the back side of the spoon kind of reminds me of my car because it has mirrors that will say objects are closer than they appear because all the images are going to be right side up and smaller than real life. Um, they will be virtual images. You can never put a piece of paper to catch the light. But you also use this in grocery stores so you can see everybody and make sure no one's stealing the fruit. And also in alleyways in Boston so you can see around the corner and not have a car accident. And at driveways in rural America. In rural America. Mm -hmm, like Geauga County. Like Geauga County. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs>